now, so there's no more Source Red Movie Club because it's on hiatus for now. And oh god, what am I gonna do? Oh, I don't, I don't know. But over the past couple of days, I've had a lot of new subscribers, which is amazing. I was like struggling to get to 300 and now I'm just like well over it by like 30 something. So that's, hey, hey new people, hi. I don't know why you subscribe, but uh, actually I do. I know a lot of people subscribe to me because of my bookshelf. It's, it's true. There's, there's a lot of love for this thing because it's just so awesome. Um, so yeah, I thought instead of um, doing the movie club thing, because there is no movie club for now, I would give you a tour of this bookshelf. Because so many of you seem to love it. And no, you can't steal it because it is mine. So we're not stealing it. So I'll get out of the way for a minute or two so you can look at it properly. Ta-da! Isn't it awesome? <laughs> So yeah, basically, this this is my favorite thing in the entire house because I love reading books. And hey, you can you can mock the way I see book because everyone seems to do it. And if you're new here, then just go ahead and get it out of your system because I see book weirdly. And yeah, that's that. You'll be hearing a lot of book. Um, bottom shelf is one of the coolest. 90s thing. Um, it's a uh, Beanie Baby binder with a bunch of all the Beanie Babies in that you could collect. And I actually have a lot of them. It has like all the retired ones and it's pretty awesome. So yeah, I own that. Which is great. <laughs> then you just have another bunch of crazy books. And Frisbee from South Carolina. Because it's cool. It's actually kind of smudged. It's smudged because we actually played Frisbee with the Frisbee. I know it's hard to believe, but yeah, it's smudged. So anyway, on these top shelves, you have the little figures that I made. And there's no creeper because I sold the creeper and haven't had time to make a new one yet. I'm sorry. I will get to it after this video. But yeah, behind them you have the House of Night boot. They were really good, like the first set are really good, but then the rest, you're kind of like, just just stop now, please, please stop. But if you if you like vampires, I suggest them because they're pretty cool. Uh, then we have uh, one of the True Blood books. Oh, Risen Follow. I think it was the first one. Makes sense for it to be the first one. Uh, I never finished reading it. So, yeah. Then across here we have the ones everyone seems to subscribe for because they they are my favorite. Oops, they are my favorite books ever. These three books are just absolutely amazing and I can't put them back in the right way. There we go, these three books are so good. The Night Angel Trilogy, so good. Behind them we have Beautiful Dead books, but I don't have book three. I have one, two, and four because someone didn't buy me book three for Christmas. They bought me book four instead. So I don't know what's going on there. Then we have um, the Black Magician trilogy, which is only book one. Still haven't got around to reading that. <laughs> then there's uh, the Gargoyle, which has awesome black edged paper. I only bought it because of that, but it actually turned out to be a pretty good book. So uh, I, I recommend that because it's actually kind of good. Once you get past the part where he's like, put your hand on the stove and then take it off and see the skin attached to the skin, that's kind of weird. But once you get past that, it's 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 okay. Then we have uh, the picture of Dorian Gray, which is the movie version, because I actually kind of like the movie. Um, the Crystal Skull, which I think I this was the only English book I could find while I was on holiday in Malta. But it turned out to, once again, be a really good book. Um, then we have Twilight, which that, that needs no comment about it, apart from awesome red-edged pages. Yeah. And then we have Harry Potter, which needs nothing. Needs nothing. It's Harry Potter. So on the second row is uh, the Furby, which 
is so creepy in sunlight. Ooh. Um, then we have a couple of Darren Shan books. I don't really like his writing, but since this was the only English book I could find on holiday in Tenerife, I seem to do that a lot. It turned out to be a pretty good book. Um, then we have the Mass Effect novel, Retribution, which I just finished reading and it's so good. I kind of love it. It's pretty awesome. Then we have the Morgan the Vampires books, which are a lot like the House of Night books and just stop, stop with the books now because there are so many. And I, these four books, as you can probably, you might be able to tell, have like really been read and they're losing the covers. The next three, and I think one's over there, uh, the next three haven't been read at all uh, because I got tired of waiting for the next book and I forgot what happened in the first four and I'd have to read the first four again and I don't want to do that. So yeah, I kind of gave up with that. Um, now we have The Sentinel Mage which I bought recently and haven't got around to reading but it has a really cool cover and it has cool names in it as well and princesses and leg injuries and and I'm trying to find something else weird. And pigs. Yeah. Then we have some Torchwood books because who who doesn't like Torchwood? I mean seriously, I think the only one I read was this one. Because it had Yantel on the cover. And that's the only one I got around to reading. But it's so good. I like I like that one. Then we have the Millennium books, which are the girl with the dragon tattoo and all that. Still only read the first one. I have a lot of books I have yet to read. Which is, which is great. So I guess I have a lot of books to read when I go on holiday. And I won't have to buy the only English book there. Um, then we have some really awesome books, which are the really cool Garfield books that are from like, I don't know, when did it say they were printed? This one was printed in 1987. So they're kind of old and they're still awesome and that's that's why I keep them on the shelf because they're also cool colors as well I like colors if you didn't know if you couldn't tell by my hair I like pretty colors and yeah so these are awesome then we have the whisperers which I that was another one that was the only English book I could find on holiday and I'd rather kill myself than read that book again because it's terrible I didn't like it at all um, then we have, oh, oh, this is awesome, Of Mice and Men, my uh, English edition, which that might seem weird, that probably does, my English, I don't know how to say it, it was what we studied in English, <laughs> that's, that's probably a better way to say it, but yeah, this is the version that's highlighted and everything, and it's not just got informative notes in, it has um, me and my friend writing random stuff and I it's got a weird highlighted did anyone else do that? when you got books from English classes or whatever classes you have you just make them seem like the weirdest things ever it's actually a really good book I love Mice and Men but this I hated it because I had to read it several times then we have like the best books ever um The Warrior Cats it's a book all about cats and it's so good I love it I really do and in the Thunder Clan the leader is Blue Star the deputy is Red Tail the medicine cat is Spotted Leaf it goes on and on there's just a bunch of weird cat names and it's awesome and it has a map of the area and the clan logos so that's kind of cool it's, it's a book about cats. What did you expect? Then we have some strange books that I read. That one's pretty good. Another one with an awesome cover. I don't think I've read it yet. It's another book I need to add to the pile of books that I need to read. Then we have an Artemis Fowl book from like ages ago. The Arctic Circle. I think I actually finished it. Which is, wow, it had rather large writing in it. Then we have the last few things on the shelf, which are um, a Darren Brown book. Then we have Friends DVDs and Garfield sitting next to uh, some more Garfield books. So yeah, this is my bookshelf and is 
isn't it awesome and no you can't steal it person who asked to steal it this is my replacement video for no movie club i'm sad about that but yeah